electronics. So now we want to uh, see uh, silicon photonic devices. So the first item for the silicon photonics is a waveguide. So is waveguide is very important. So uh, for instance, in this picture, as you can see here, in the uh, we, we can see that the height of our waveguide, the height of waveguide is three micrometer in this two picture. And the, uh, in, in these two picture, the height of waveguide is around uh, 220 nanometers. So these are two waveguides that are commonly used with the companies these days. So the advantage of this waveguide is that the the, it, it's, it's similar for the TE and TM polarization, but, the, but the, this side, we can see that the, the behavior, the polarization behavior for the uh, 220 nanometer is different. As we can see, for instance, for effective index, we see a 2.55 for TE and for 1.55 for TM. So I will discuss how we can model a different component. Just I will review, I, I review some of the components here. So uh, what is the trend? The trend is that we want to uh, decrease the, the length of uh, silicon devices. So one idea is use a nonlinearity. I mean, by using the nonlinearity, we uh, we can decrease the length of our um, our photonic component like this one. One idea is use a silicon nanowire. So uh, we can see in this paper that they used a silicon nanowire and they uh, they increase the nonlinearity and they can use a silicon for a photonic chip for in in terms of all optical devices. The idea I used before is the photonic crystal waveguide. So photonic crystal waveguide, uh, as you can see here, there is the, some some hole in the in the silicon waveguide that uh, when the light goes through the waveguide, um, we see a, a a compact pulse through the waveguide. For this reason, the nonlinearity is enhanced. So, uh, for instance, uh, you know the, the the length of silicon nanowire here is around one around millimeter to centimeter, uh, and the length of photonic crystal waveguides around hundred micrometer. We can see that, the, but the, the order of nonlinearity is one order of magnitude more than silicon nanowire. So, uh, but uh, for instance, with single input pulse in silicon. We have a cell phase modulation, two photon absorption, third harmonic generation, and for multiple wavelength conversion, we can see a four-way mixing. And, and these are very useful for, uh, for um, uh, photonic chip components. For instance, for, uh, for uh, just uh, 80 micrometer, uh, we can see a uh, a green light emission in, in, in the silicon waveguide, just 80 micrometer photonic crystal waveguide. And this is an experimental one. If you, if you can see here, this is a green, green light emission, and this shows that uh, how silicon, 80 micrometer silicon waveguide can be used to create a third harmonic generation. And it means that you give a, a light with 1.55 micrometer and you see a, a green light emission because of the third order, uh, uh, actually third harmonic generation. So, but uh, there is some challenge with, for, for the silicon photonics. So not silicon photonic, for photonic chip. So how we want to couple the light through the chip? One idea is that edge coupling. For instance, for, for my case, I use a lens fiber to couple the light to the reach waveguide and then we and then here we have a tapered waveguide and then we have a, a silicon photonic crystal waveguide and this part is similar to the, the input is similar to the output. 
But here, the, the effective, the group index is around 50 or 40, and the, and the couple the light to the to the group index of 40 is very difficult. For instance, this is one challenge, and uh, so for this reason, we use a, a tapered waveguide. We use a, um, some cha we change some holes through the photonic crystal waveguide that can be used in a photonic chip. For instance, here some example of four-way mixing, and um, we, we put a pump in the middle of the flat band and prop here, and we, we can see idler, a very nice idler in the in the um, silicon photonic waveguide. So so this can be used in for for regenerator for uh, for wavelength conversion and different application. So, regarding to the other passive component, we have a wavelength filter, resonator, MOX, DMOX coupler, splitter, uh, so fiber interface. Uh, so, um, these are some components can be used for um, silicon photonic and photonic integrated circuit. We need silicon spot size converter, as you can see in this picture. For instance, in this picture, we, we want to couple the light from the fiber to the to the waveguide. We can see uh, there are different strategy for, for this case. Or uh, for optical coupling technology, we have a edge coupler here. We have a grating coupler in this figure. We have a metamaterial waveguide, as you can see in this picture. So these are some common method that you can couple the light to the uh, silicon photonic chips. So, but one example of uh, is, uh, an, uh, this is an uh, optical link. So as we can see here, we have a laser, then we have a modulator. So we have a electrical signal here, and this electrical signal is modulated to the optical signal. And then at the photo, photo detector side, we have a photo detector and then we can extract our electrical signal. And this picture also shows that this is opti optical input and this is electrical signal. And we can see that how electrical signal is modulated to the optical. So for instance, in this picture, we can see that we have a different wavelengths and we have four modulator here, lambda one, lambda two, lambda three, lambda four. And this, these drivers uh, actually create a electrical signal, and this modulator um, modulate the optical electrical signal to the optical signal, and we have to see some detector here. This is the structural AR lab. 